and hey guys what's up i hope you're all doing great in today's video i am presenting you the best fun made game i've ever played into the speed force it's a game based on the flash series developed by the fans who have put a whole lot of effort into it the game is distributed for free in a Discord server for which I'm leaving a link in the description. Inside the server there are instructions on how to download and run the latest available version of the game. I actually made a video about that game a few months ago, but now I just got access to a newer, better version of the game's next update. So a huge thank you to Savidar, who is one of the game's developers, for giving me the opportunity to try out this phenomenal game. Just to be clear, that's not the version you will find in the server, I was only granted access to this for demonstration purposes. First of all, let's just take a look at the main menu, see what's changed since the last update. So it's definitely got a way better design than the previous version and more options. For example, here you can see we can choose between different game modes. However, this is not yet available and is probably still in development. Here we can see some update notes. And in the play section we can see we can choose between combat testing and roaming in the city. So now let's check the two available game modes. First let's see something completely new which is combat. So right now there are no controls for normal combat but we can use a few finishing moves on the enemies by pressing T. As you can see there's a different animation each time which is really cool and by pressing and holding R I can use lightning, exactly like in the show. So cool. Apart from these two moves there's not really anything else to see here so let's move on to the good stuff. Central City baby! <clears throat> Just look how awesome the graphics look! Wait, it says here, expect extremely poor performance? Okay, that's weird, because it, it looks just fine. Anyways, let's see what's new. Okay, not exactly new, more like upgraded. So, it couldn't be a flash game without the super speed. Oh yeah, this, this is awesome. Uh, now, why not compare it to the previous version? Yeah, okay, I think it's clear that the lighting just looks so much better now, and in general, it looks way more realistic and accurate to the show. And since I'm doing a comparison right now, let's see how the lightning strike is different from the previous version. Okay, a huge improvement for sure, I believe, and I like how there's a bar that needs to be filled before you can actually throw lightning. So cool. And these are basically all the things you can do right now. The previous version did have a few more options, but remember the one I'm using right now is just the beta version used for testing, so don't worry, they're not removing anything. If you want to check the previous version of the game, which has a few more options, you can just watch one of the videos I made a few months ago, or just play it yourself. And last but not least, there's also an option to change your suit. Here we can see some of the suits are locked, so the ones we can use are these. The Season 4 suit, the Season 5 suit, Season 6 suit and Zoom, who also happens to have his own unique lighting color and animations. Yeah, see? So cool. Oh, and something else I found nice here was how each suit shows Barry's evolution. Like, as he gains more experience throughout the seasons, you can actually see that in the suit's stats. And a nice little detail is how in Season 6, he just has no anger, because that's when they decided in the show that the power of love was the way to fight crime. Which I don't disagree with, but come on, it's a superhero, so we need to see the Flash beating up the bad guys, not talk to them. Anyway, this video is not a review of the show, so I'll just stop here. In another tab, we can also see the skill tree, but I don't think this is the final version. Oh, and here is where you can upgrade all your gadgets. So you have Tachyon Enhancer, the thing that the Reverse Flash wore. Uh, the suit ring which contains Barry's suit. And Portable Gideon, which I think is also used by Reverse Flash. 
you know a game's gonna be really good when the freaking beta version is so fun to play. Like, there are very limited stuff to do, but just running around as the Flash is just so awesome. And there are many more stuff coming soon, and if everything goes well, the final version is going to be released in April 5th of 2024. Which is a really important date in the show, because it was when the Flash was supposed to die in Crisis on Infinite Earths. Of course, they changed the future, so that never happened, but still, awesome easter egg. Now, some of the things you can expect in the final version are the following. Playable Savitar and Reverse Flash. The ability to actually go inside the Speed Force. Wall running. Improved gadgets. Improved Central City. The Time Vault in Star Labs, and of course, Star Labs. More suits, more combat moves. Improved lightning effects. And a game launcher with the ability to download new updates automatically. But that's not all, folks, because the game will also have missions and a story of some sort, possibly inspired by the show. Best fan made game, I told you. It has so much potential, but for now we'll have to wait for more updates on future updates. <laughs> I'm already super excited about this game, and if you want to play it as soon as it's released, make sure to join the Discord server in the description. The more the merrier. I want to thank Savitar again for allowing me to play an early version of the game to show it to you, and for the collaboration in general. And of course congratulations to everyone working in this game for their phenomenal job. Well, this was today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please go ahead and support the game's developers in the simplest way possible by just playing their game. And to support me in the simplest way possible, you can just click the like button, subscribe, and why not allow all notifications. And if you want the complete Spider-Than experience, you might as well follow me on Instagram. Until the next time, goodbye true believers!